Right, this is Jeff uh, up at Chatterley Whitfield Heritage Centre. Uh, once a month on the first Saturday of every month at the moment, we're opening it up to the public. And that means you can come in and see the Heritage Centre. And I'm going to try and take you in there. Uh, we're not going on to the site today. We're just going to take you into the Heritage Centre. There's our Guard of Honour. He's a nice tall gentleman. I'm not sure whether this uh, Facebook Live will carry on when we go inside, but I'll give you a quick look in there. There's lots of people doing some work in there. We've already got visitors in. Uh, these are a, a few displays from Sheffield University. Um, they were showing what the possibility that this site could be in the future. And this could be a fantastic um, asset for Stoke-on-Trent. It could be a great income producing asset for Stoke-on-Trent uh, if we could get the whole site and open it up to the public. We've got lots of displays in here, lots of workers, and so and it's changing. So even if you've been before, it's worth popping up again because we keep finding new things and keep changing the displays so there's something of interest for everyone. Uh, this is all going to be changing. That's a display you might have seen the last time, but that's going to be changing. Uh, we're always looking through the archives, some fantastic maps here that we've just uncovered. Uh, these are some of the workers, and we've got the uh, security cameras everywhere. And this was a, a new addition we put in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is one of the uh, original Chatterley Whitfield showers out of the bathhouse and displays all around here. So if you want to come along, it's uh, 10 o'clock till 2 o'clock on the first Saturday of the month. And loads of miners here who can chat to you if you're an ex-miner it's worth a visit if you've got kids who want to know about mining it's well worth a visit and lots of records here if you know anyone who worked at Chatterley Whitfield and unfortunately they were killed down here then we've got all the records here and this is how I found out that my granddad was actually killed at Chatterley Whitfield in 1953 so if you know anybody who's interested in mining, let them know about Chatley Whitfield. Just send them to the Chatley Whitfield website. And let's say we're open every Saturday, the first Saturday of the month. So I'm going to knock that off now and hopefully it's uh, worked. Okay, bye now.